Shout out to everybody. It's your man, not your boy, Drew James, coming to you live from the suite in Columbus, Georgia, sitting here with the wonderful R&B up-and-coming singer, Miss Fuchsia Lee. Go ahead and introduce yourself to the people. Hi, everybody. I'm Fuchsia Lee. I'm by way of New Jersey, all the way here in Georgia. You can tell them your social media. You have social media where they can follow you. FuchsiaLee.com. We're on um, Instagram, Facebook. Um, you can follow me through Prentice Productions, um, Bag Chasers. Bag chaser management? Yes. That's printers, printers, um, and That's actually Latoya for bag chasers. Right. But printers does printers um, right. perfections, yes. Printers perfections. Bag management, yes. Now I'll make sure I get plugged with printers <laughs> perfections. Um, uh, let the people know a little bit about yourself as an artist and, and what your makeup as an artist is. Okay. Well, me as an artist, like everyone else, I've been singing since I was eight years old. Um, I realized at an early age, or my parents realized at an early age right. that um, there was no way to shut me up, <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> um, my dad says I came out of the womb crying and that I um, screamed a lot right. in my crib. And the only one that could actually put me to sleep was his mom, which had passed away. Right, right. <laughs> and she brought my cradle. She was the only one that could do this. But, um, and yeah, they say the crying led to a life of singing. You're, you're always has. using your voice. It, it has. Um, God's been really um, good to me. He's Bless the right one with the gift. I don't take it for granted. Right, right, um, right. There's no way I can do this without him. And I've been at it for so long. Is how do you put that down? Definitely, yeah. definitely, definitely. I was excited. I was excited when um uh, I got the opportunity to interview you because it was always to be seen on stage is one thing, but to see behind the scenes yeah. and to see the difference that it is to be between genres of music. Right. Uh, being an R&B singer and uh, um, the legacy of R&B that you have been accustomed to, what are some of the inspirations, some of the artists that you look up to, like, that you like, you used to listen to music, <laughs> who would you, what was your CD player? Look, coming up, I had Phyllis Hyman, <laughs> I had Stephanie Mills, I had um, uh, Shaka Khan, Shaka Khan. Um, Patti LaBelle, and you know, all the old school divas that you would proclaim to be divas, those are the women that I listen to. Um, my soul is geared towards old school music. I can't condition myself to sing anything current because my spirit is still locked back then. Is it the difference between the music that they make today compared to back then? Is it the turn off or what, what is it that prevents you from doing a new song? Well, you know what? It doesn't need, the new things, they don't speak to me. If, it's, if it doesn't speak to me, I won't do it. You know, I, I have to be able to feel it. Um, Tina Marie, for example, um, out on a limb. Your, your gift by itself, when you're displaying it on stage, you're literally out on a limb. You're giving these people pretty much all that you have. And while you're standing out on that limb, you're hoping that it doesn't move. Right, right, right. And right. so for me, when I'm on stage, it's just a matter of giving everything that I got while I'm there. And, and being able to know that, you know, as long as the crowd is pleasing, I'm satisfied. Man, Fuse is deep. <laughs> she deep. I'm sorry. She is deep. It is, it is a profound way that you express your uh, love for the music and your interest in the music. Um, was uh, growing up, what was the inspiration? Did you start at church? What was your first and experience singing? My first experience was church. My mom, I am a PK. Um, everybody. Who well, doesn't know what, what is a PK? Preacher's kid. Right. <laughs> naturally um but i i started singing my mom would bring her her her, her ensemble group to the house they would rehearse because she played piano and i was just always drawn to them singing and for me it was just an attachment i i got attached to singing really really early and not just in church but in school my entire life as far as going from elementary school to high school i've always been in the choir i've always been in the band anything that had to do with well, you got an X tenor right here. Yeah. I was in the tenor section. Go ahead, go ahead, sing some. Oh well, oh well. well what's <laughs> I was no, I was actually gonna do John P. Key. He washed them. Right. White as snow. Right. snow. You remember that song? Or they be like, White as snow. Yes. See, actually, was in the choir. I wasn't doing no capping. Y'all make sure y'all get um plugged with Fusa, um Lee, yes. straight out of Col uh, Columbus, Georgia. Well, New Jersey. New Jersey. How did you come to Columbus from New Jersey? How that happen? Man. Well, my parents, um, my mom was sick, so she wanted to come back home. This is her hometown, um, and my dad said yes. And, you know, you can't let your parents who are up in age come here by themselves, so eventually we all just started migrating here. And, 
you know, I So it was after you all grown up? Yes, okay. yes, definitely. We used to come down here as kids, though, right. you know, back and forth um, every other summer, if not every summer, you know, coming to visit. So. Is, is New Jersey the main inspiration in your music? Or has Columbus influenced you at all? Maybe those trips coming back has given you a little bit of Southern flair, but what is it that, like, because I know up north they're more jazz, uh, house music prominent, yes. but the R and B is I think in the soul, especially of, uh, of our culture. Um, what is it that moves you when you're thinking of a concept of the soul? It's all in reference to feeling. Again, if I if I can't feel it, I'm not gonna do it. And one thing people will learn about me whenever I do anything R and B or soul from old school music. If it's not done in the original key, I'm not gonna do it. So you don't you don't alternate keys? I don't alternate keys at all. Because so whatever key they put it in, uh, Fuse is going to get it. Yeah. yeah. Mariah Carey? Mariah. Well, see, she's not old school. Oh, yeah, okay. She's not old school to some other people. Right. But, you know, well, I was, I was giving her, let me see this. Uh, I said that because of her high note. Uh, oh, well, yeah. Minnie Ripperton. Minnie Ripperton. That's another that's high note type, type uh, singer, uh, right? Yes. Um, Y'all see, I know that. I'm a, I'm a connoisseur of music. Yeah, you got Minnie Ripperton. You got it. But um, for me, again, Stephanie Mills, uh, Shaka Khan, Phyllis Hyman, um, they get away from, you know, giving that just do. And, I, and I, I just love to honor them because without them, I would not be here, you know, singing their songs. You know, so who better than, you know, your girl. Hey, y'all heard it first. Um, we're sitting here at the Sweet uh, Barn Grill in Columbus, Georgia, getting ready for your set tonight. Um, she's going to rock the house tonight. Sitting here at Soundcheck, I was delighted to get a little chance to get in touch with you before you got on stage. And get in I know once you go full glow, you might have to put the blinders on you know, to, get, to get that close. But um, um, Just know I appreciate you. No I don't take this lightly. Yes. Um, people don't have to do no. what they do. And, you know, they don't have to shine a light on them. Thank you very much. This love. Um, being that um, you're getting ready to rock the show, how did you um, come about to be here at this venue? What are some of the shows, and some of the experiences you had as an artist uh, coming to this point? Well, um, one of my highlights, um, there's actually a couple, but one of the main ones um, back in 2015, 14, um, we did the Steve Harvey competition up in Atlanta. And I was fortunate enough to win that. Right, you know, that's what I heard. That's I, what I heard. was <laughs> able to keep that ten thousand dollars here in Columbus. Wow. You Big know? And yeah. Right. It, you know, it it was one of the greatest experiences ever. Um I would love to give everybody the, the behind the scenes um happenings, but I gotta kinda keep that on wraps. Right. But um just believe me, it was one of the most um, exciting things in my life. Um meeting and as being able to open up for her here at the suite, you know, a few years back. Um, there are just so many other experiences here. Um, Andy Stone being able to sing with her while she was here in town. And I think one of my other ultimate uh, memories that I love is being able to open up for Mint Condition and Jagged Edge oh, wow, wow, in, my, in Augustus, okay. Augusta, excuse right. me. And that alone, awesome, awesome wow. time. Um, you know. it's, 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 it's refreshing to see that uh, you have so many legendary artists, legendary singers combined and inspired to the ingredients that make you up as an artist. Um, Y'all make sure you got plugged with Fusion Fusion mm -hmm. Beat. We just getting started. I got to thank you once again for sitting down with me. Y'all got to get to them. Y'all make sure y'all, if y'all can, get a chance to get out here to Columbus, Georgia. Stop at the suite. Check Sheila out. She'll be doing that thing. I'm here tonight. I'm live in Living Color. When we come back, we got more with Miss Future. Um, we got the yellow going. You see that? It's running. It's running now? It can stop. Mm -hmm. stop. It can stop. Okay.